Hi folks, today I'm presenting you one more SEM Dujer tools. There's a saying which says, if you don't measure it, you cannot improve it. With that said, a few months ago, I have launched Supply Chain KPI Dashboard, and I get a tons of good feedback. There's a lot of downloads. The, my blog, which is 18 Supply Chain KPI Dashboard, is basically ranking on Google. A lot of good stuff. On the back of that, some of the procurement folks have, have asked me, can I create a procurement KPI Dashboard? So you ask, I deliver. Therefore, right now, I'm about to present you a procurement KPI Dashboard, which you can see the link below and download. You can start using it, right? Similarly, I've given you a link below for the Supply Chain KPI Dashboard if you want to see what I'm talking about. And there's a, a link below, not below, actually, there's a link above for the tutorial of that uh, KPI Dashboard. To support you, I have written a blog, 16 Procurement KPIs, The Ultimate Guide. The blog explains uh, why we should have a procurement KPIs, what are the benefits, what we should measure, and how we should explain and define those KPIs. So there's a link below. You can basically click on it and have a read, and I would recommend you to read before you actually start using the KPI dashboard. So what you will see in this video, I have defined a 16 KPI dashboard, and there's a tab, co a tab called uh, measures. In this uh, tab, you will see 16 KPIs, which is segregated into four categories. The first is cost, the second is quality, then the third is time, and the fourth is spend management. For each of those KPIs, I have given you a description and the formula, so you understand what we're trying to measure and how we're trying to measure it, right? And if your colleagues have the similar question, you can share the dashboard with them, and hopefully they will understand. In the later part of the video, my colleague Benoit is going to basically introduce you the dashboard. He will explain you how to set the target, how to edit the dashboard, how to add new KPIs if you want, how to delete the KPIs if you want. Basically, you can totally customize the dashboard according to your business requirement, according to your team's requirement. So hopefully you like what we're doing at the SM Dujo. The aim is to basically help you improve your job, improve your business, make you look better, and hopefully get a brownie points from your managers for bringing some new stuff in and cool stuff in, right? So again, don't waste time. Click on the link below, and download the, day, the dashboard, and start using. So over to Benoit, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Hello, and welcome to this Guide of Procurement KPI Dashboard. In this guide, we are going to cover the uses of this dashboard in order to use it properly. So the file starts with the user guide with a navigation bar on the left hand side, which help user to easily navigate to each and every element of this file. If you choose major, it will navigate to that file and so on on the target, on the actuals, and so on. If you want to go back, you need to click on the logo and it will navigate to the home page, that is user guide. Now, user guide. It is, in, it is to understand the content of the file. You will see the different steps written in the user guide showing the content of this file. There are three navigation processes written on the right hand side for the be better user experience. Please use option from bar to navigate for uh, better experience. And whenever we select any uh, element, it will be highlighted in white. So is the selected element. And third one is whenever we have to go to the home page, we need to click on this logo. Now, measure. Measure is for, uh, is for information. It tells us that what is the performance attribute for the measure. What is the unit of measurement? What is the description and what is the formula used? It is a formula guide. 
it shows how you need to calculate the result. This is an important sheet so that you are hundred percent aligned with the measure which you want to monitor. Now targets. Target sheet is where you set the targets. These will be visible in the chart of dashboard. Target setup is simple for each measure. You will you have to set up target per month depending on the unit of measure. You can see the example in each line has different unit of measures as uh, such as dollar percentage then the number then percentage. These are the unit of measure. Now actual. Actual sheet is uh, where you fill the actual result for each group of measure. You will fill result per month. You can see the year mentioned on the top. So this is the actual sheet. So once you set up the target and actual, you can go to the dashboard for analysis. There are four dashboards as per the performance attributes. These are cost, quality, time, span management. In each of the dashboard, you will see the project title. Let me open the cost one. Yes, you will see the title of the dashboard with three selections. Select year, select year to compare, select month for year to date. The year option depend upon the year you have put it in the actuals. These are dynamic. You can see 2025 it's coming here. we have maintained 2025 yeah. so once again we'll go to cost just for an example so you can select year and you can select the year to compare now you will see the changes in the graphs. You can select any two years, they don't have to be in the right order. Just I am setting the examples. And this one, the select month for year to date is the last column here where you change the month, it will calculate the average of that period. Let me choose March. Then this last bar is showing the average of the first quarter that is January to March. If I select September, it will show the average of that period, January to September. So each major will be visualized in different charts like average cost per cost per order, percentage chart, change in cost versus previous year then cost avoidance implemented cost reduction purchase price variance procurement ROI the in this manner similarly for uh, quality there are different measures you can see
for the time there are different measures similarly for the spend management now for um, going to the uh, home page you may click on the logo it will navigate to the home page now we can talk about changing the measure so in the dashboard we can change name you can delete or you can add new measures so let's start with the changing of the name which is the easiest part all you need to do is to go to the measure and change the name suppose we need to change this name so we can change it as a new name and then immediately we will notice that the change name is changed and the targets same in the actuals let's see in the dashboards the name is changed now let's say you want to delete a major you just select the row by clicking by pressing shift space then right click delete it will delete the major let's see target that major is deleted in actual this major is deleted but we we have seen the, there is some data of that major is still existing now we need to delete this data from the target select those data right click delete shift the cell up now this one is adjusted similarly we have to do for the actuals we will select the data of the deleted measure right click and delete shift cell up now this is adjusted now let's see the charts you will notice that the measure is deleted but there is some uh, invalid data is coming there is a percentage but this is not the percentage so we need to check the measures so we need to go to this side and we have to click on this plus sign and we have to check these measures whether they are in line with our measure or not so for that we need to check the uh, unit of measurement for each of the measures let's see for the uh, cost per order cost avoidance implementation implemented purchase price variance procurement roi here we will see these four are in dollar and this is a number so again we will go into the cost it means this will be this should be in the number in the dollar so we will select this one right click format cell we will change to the dollar Now this one is coming in dollar. This one is dollar. 
Now what we had observed, this one is in number. So we will change this one to number. Now we will close this. Okay. Now you, you will see the data are corrected in the graph. In this way, you can change the, uh, uh, you can delete the uh, measure. Now, let's say you want to add new measure. So, you have to go to the bottom. I will suggest to copy this one so, so that it will take the same format and then delete. Now suppose I want to add some new measure as a KPI for cost. So I will type new KPI with a percentage, maybe some description with formula. Now we have added one new measure in the cost. Let's see target. This one is added. Let's see actual. Again, this is added. Now we have to target the uh, plan the targets so we'll put this as a percentage as we have kept a percentage as a unit of measure so we'll put 70 percent similarly we'll keep some percentage we'll we'll have some actual percentage so i will write something like 69 72 okay. we can copy this one this one till the last now these data are recorded Now we will go to the dashboard. Let's see the changes. As we have made the changes in the cost. Let's see in the cost at the bottom. There is a new KPI, but it is coming as 111. It means the unit of measure is not correct. So we will again go to this plus and we will see the unit of measure. As we have kept as a percentage, it's in number, so we have to change it to the percentage. Format cell in percentage. This is coming into percentage. We'll close this. Now let's see the graph. And here the unit of measure is changed. And now it's correct as per our target and actual data. In this way, you can add new measures. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comment below.